Welcome, this video is a linear relationships video uh, exploring how we can find equations from x and y intercepts. We can find the equation of a line if we're given the x and y intercepts. Here, this is the number plane and we have a line here and it's indicated that we have a y intercept of 2 and an x intercept of 3. Let's see how we can compile uh, the equation of this line from just those two clues. We'll use y equals mx plus b, which is your gradient uh, y-intercept form of a line, a linear relationship. So let's have a look. There's three things to find. First of all, we'll find the y-intercept. That shouldn't be too hard. We're looking to find where the line, the red line, meets the y-axis, that vertical axis there. And I think you can see as well as me there, probably better, um, that that y-intercept is 2. So that's the first thing to find, and that goes in the B position of our Y equals MX plus B. That B position indicates the Y intercept, so we'll put the 2 there as we piece together this uh, linear equation. Next thing we're going to have a look at finding is the rise over the run. Now to do this, it will help if we can make a triangle out of the line and the X and Y axes. We'll make a little right angle triangle there. And that'll help us find the rise and the run. So that left-hand side of the triangle I've made blue there, you can see that would be a rise of 2 because we have 2 from the origin up to that uh, y-intercept of 2. So that side of the equa equation would indicate our rise of 2. And if we draw a... Uh, well, we'll put the rise of 2 in there. Our run, if we draw another a blue line there to, make, to complete the little right-angle triangle there, to go from the origin, naught naught, across to uh, an x intercept of 3, you can see we've gone 3 units. So that help, helps us to find the run of 3. So we've got a rise over run of 2 thirds. Now that can go in where the m is. That, that m is the gradient section of our gradient intercept type format. Okay, and we'll just uh, fill in the rest of it a little bit there. Now one more thing to think about, ladies and gentlemen, and that is whether it leans to the left or the right. This red line leans to the left. That means that m, the value of our number in front of the x here, should be negative if, it, if a line leans to the left. So that's our third thing there. So the m is negative. So instead of 2 thirds x, we're going to have minus 2 thirds x because of that idea that any uh, line leaning to the left has a negative gradient. So there are our three things as we've pieced that together. And we end up with a, an equation from those, uh, just those two intercepts It was all we knew. We find the equation of that line is y equals minus 2 thirds x plus 2. Here's another example. We have an x-intercept this time of 2 and a y-intercept of minus 4. Let's see how we can piece that together using y equals mx plus b. Three things to find. The y-intercept, can you see where the line, the red line meets the y-axis, that vertical axis? Yes, it's at minus 4 down there. So uh, our y-intercept is minus 4 and that's going to be put up into the b section there of our y equals mx plus b uh, format for the equation of this line. Okay, the next thing to find is the rise over run and once again we're going to uh, help by um, help our brain out here by making a triangle out of the line and the x and y axes. So that vertical uh, section of our triangle we're making there will be equal to four units because to go from the origin which is uh, a value of naught naught down to the y-intercept of minus four we will have risen four there, so that vertical side of the triangle is a 4, so that's the rise in our gradient. And our run is the 2. We will have moved across from the origin 2 units to get to our x-intercept there. So that helps us find our rise over run. So our rise over run is 4 over 2. Now anytime you've got a fraction, and this is in fraction form here, we should try and simplify. I think you can see that 2 can divide into the top and bottom there. So really we should be saying 2 over 1. And any fraction over 1 doesn't have to have the 1 in it. So uh, we're going to put a, just a 2 up next to the x, uh, indicating the gradient is 2. So I know we got it from 2 over 1, but we don't have to write the 1 in in that circumstance there. Now the last thing to check here is whether or not the line leans to the left or the right. Now a line leaning to the right has a positive gradient, so m is positive. Now we'll think about putting a plus in front of the 2, but really a 2 on its own is a positive number, isn't it? 
Uh, so we don't have to put that plus in really, but we did check whether it was a positive or negative number. And so we have y equals 2x minus 4 there. Once again, we've been able to piece together the equation of this line uh, just by two little clues, and that's the x and the y intercept. So if we're careful about how we do that, find those three things, that'll help us out a lot. And so that's our equation for this one, y equals 2x minus 4. Okay, I hope that helps, and uh, you'll be able to watch that video again if you're not sure. But that should help you find the linear equation from just the x and y intercepts. Thanks for watching. For any mathematical video needs, there's heaps of great mathematics videos on peterblakemaths.com. Catch you next time.